Welcome to TransLogic, I'm Bradley Hasemeyer. You know, hydrogen fuel cell vehicles have had a lot of buzz in the past 10 to 15 years, but not a lot to show for it. However, with major announcements being made at this year's LA Auto Show, it looks like the emissions-free future that a lot of us have hoped for could be closer than we think. You have a beautiful concept that you guys have brought here. Tell me a little bit about it. This is the FCEV concept from Honda, and really it's a sign of what's to come in 2015 with Honda's next generation fuel cell electric vehicle. It will have over 300 mile range. Uh, that's an improvement uh, from the F6 Clarity, which was 240. It actually has a fuel cell stack that's 30% smaller than the previous generation fuel cell stack and a 60% improvement in energy density. So these are big leaps forward. These are not kind of minor incremental changes. There seems to be this resurgence. There's a few manufacturers here in LA who are showing. I know other manufacturers have plans. What happened? It was there, it went away. What are your thoughts on that? You know, it's been an incremental, you could say, stair-step approach to this. You know, back in uh, 2000, Two, we had the F6 uh, that we leased to the city of Los Angeles. We learned a lot from that, but it was a fleet program. We then leased them to retail consumers, kind of the world's first lease of a fuel cell vehicle. Yeah. We learned from that. We learned that we can train an individual consumer to fill their own car, give them the keys and say, see you in six months. Explain a little bit about how a fuel cell vehicle works. It takes hydrogen stored in a fuel tank and uh, inside the fuel cell stack, there's what's called an exchange of protons, and when that occurs, it makes electricity. So really making electricity on demand from hydrogen and oxygen from the air. The elephant in the room, it seems like, with hydrogen fuel cell is the idea of safety, mm -hmm. right? Elon Musk said it's made for rocket fuel, it's not for driving. The fuel storage of a hydrogen fuel cell vehicle is the same technology that we've had with CNG vehicles, compressed natural gas vehicles, for the last 25 years. Right, so we a have tank a track that has record. to hold a high pressure... That's right, a high pressure gas. And in this case, it's holding it at a higher pressure, so you just make it stronger. Okay. Our natural gas Civic we've had out for over 15 years now, a zero failure rate, yep. zero problems associated with the fuel system. So we know how to build that, and we've learned over the years. You guys are bringing a hydrogen fuel cell to market very quickly. Tell me a little bit about what's going on with the Tucson. Our big news at the auto show uh, this week in LA was that we'll have the Tucson in dealers in Southern California uh, sometime next spring. And a lot of folks were expecting maybe something in 2015, 2016, but in fact it's just a few months away for us. We've got a handful of uh, fuel cell, you know, hydrogen stations in Southern California. The governor says there's a hundred more coming. Uh, so, you know, once the infrastructure gets there, this is the next generation of electric vehicle. When are they saying 100 are going to be there? That's... By 2020. Okay. And, and there are uh, in the neighborhood of 10 now. Will this cost more than a comparable Tucson? It's going to be $499 a month. So it's a lease? It's a lease. Okay. But get this. That includes all your hydrogen. We'll pick up the tab on your fuel. We're going to make our white glove uh, maintenance program, you know, at your service, we call it. We'll come pick up the vehicle if it needs service. We'll drop up another car, bring the car back to you when it's sure. ready. That's all That's all included for $499. There will be a $2,500 rebate from the state for buying this vehicle. So your first five months of payments are essentially already covered. Another thing I think that is uh, at least a misnomer or a public perception is the volatility of this kind of vehicle. Uh, uh, what have you guys done from a safety standpoint? Quite a bit, uh, of course. The fuel cell tank itself, you know, we've put it into a fire, we've lit the vehicle on fire, we've shot bullets into it. Hydrogen is as safe or safer than any other fuel that's powering a car today. You may have noticed that gasoline's a little... It's a little wet. volatile. Yes, it is. When I shot bullets at my car, it exploded. There's a number of manufacturers bringing hydrogen fuel cells yeah. to the market recently. You guys just debuted one in Tokyo. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, we're very excited about the uh, launch of our fuel cell vehicle this week in Tokyo. We think it has tremendous potential, like the Prius did back in the late 1990s when we launched hybrid technology. And with the launch of this, we'll have a fuel cell available for sale in the US in 2015. The reason we're excited about fuel cells is that it's a zero emissions vehicle. The only emissions that come out of that is water vapor. Okay. Our vehicle is gonna have over a 300 mile range. 
It takes about three minutes to fill the tank with hydrogen. You guys debuted the concept vehicle in Tokyo just the other day. Yes. But the production model you're going to show in just a couple months at CES in January. We're putting some finishing touches on some of those details, and we're going to be excited to be at CES to talk more about it here in the U.S. All right, so are hydrogen fuel cell vehicles for real this time? Well, certainly seems so. But for the public to really embrace it, there needs to be more hydrogen stations, and the cost of the vehicle needs to remain competitive. If all that happens, well, we might be seeing a lot of these on the road. For TransLogic, I'm Bradley Hasemeyer. See you next time.